Beginning in 1916, publishing heir William E. Scripps acquired almost 4,000 acres of land for his Wildwood farm. Scripps raised cattle, dairy cows, sheep, swine, and draft horses on the grounds and also created a wildlife sanctuary. Following his death in 1952, the property was divided and sold, with guest house purchasing the Scripps mansion and surrounding grounds, while 21 acres became what is now known as Canterbury Village. In 1967, businessman Howard Keatington Jr. bought the property and opened Keatington's Antique Village. The village closed in the 1980s and sat neglected for years until the property was purchased by Stan Aldridge in 1991. The owner of Indian Wood Golf and Country Club, two years later, Canterbury Village opened to the public. On Saturday, September 16th, families were invited to celebrate the attraction's 30th anniversary. About two years of uh, heavy construction, and uh, then obviously there were some additions after. Restaurant opened up in 95. The uh, 80,000 square feet addition to the uh, Christmas store opened up in 98. Um, so obviously it was a work in progress. Just a fun place for families to uh, come and enjoy uh, time together. Um, I'm not really sure what his end vision was. Uh, he loved to build things and uh, obviously he loved Europe and he built himself really an English village uh, in, in beautiful Lake Orion. Families were encouraged to take a guided tour of the grounds, which features several original buildings that date back to Wildwood Farm and beyond. These colorful shops were once home to farm staff and management. The Hadrill House was built in the 1870s by the original settlers of the property and was the chauffeur's home during the Scripps era. In 2014, Yates Cider Mill moved into what was once the dairy barn. Other buildings were once hay barns, horse stables, and the farm firehouse, all of which have been lovingly restored and preserved for future generations to visit. He was a big uh, believer in restoring buildings. He did that down the, the street at Indianwood at the golf course that we uh, own in Lake Orion, and he did it here. And, uh, you know, people love the architecture and love to walk in and see the history. Today we have all the uh, different signs out of what the buildings were uh, back the farm days and, and uh, Keatington days. So it's it's been a lot of fun. And then obviously buying my father out in 2020 and turning Canterbury into a family event center. It's been a fun project for me and my wife. Kings Court Castle Restaurant was a later addition and opened its doors to the public in January of 1996. Stan Aldridge talked about his vision at the time. The restaurant was needed, sorely needed here. I mean, they're just absolutely needed. There's, there's just uh, the, the volume of people that visit the village. They, they come for, it's a destination festival village. And they come to eat and to, you know, to be entertained and to walk through and shop. And uh, the restaurant's an integral part of it, very important part. We should have done the restaurant first. Uh, we want the food to be good, we want them to enjoy that this is something that's unique to, to, you know, Michigan and probably most of the Midwest. There's very few facilities like this anywhere in the country. It's a very unusual, uh, uh, different type of uh, restaurant and we, we want them to, to enjoy the food. The response on the food's been tremendous, tremendous, I mean, just absolutely tremendous. and, and uh, that's what we want. We want them to go away with a warm feeling about the whole village, you know. Stan Aldrich's son, Keith, purchased the property in 2020 and has made it a popular destination with events and festivals taking place almost every weekend. Well, when obviously when he when he started the, the shopping and specifically always Christmas, uh, the retail was very strong. Now today retail is a whole different ball game. Um, malls are empty. People are shopping online. So what our vision here was to, uh, obviously we have a great property, uh, to let families come here, decompress uh, on the weekends, have a lot of fun, a lot of children's entertainment, a lot of adult entertainment. And, uh, and the evolution's been positive for us. Yeah. My team and I are quite proud of uh, what we've done. And uh, obviously we're coming into our busiest season of the, of the year with Halloween and, and holiday coming up. So we're, we're really looking forward to it. Next weekend we have Fall Fest, which is always a big event for us. And it's been a fun project for me and my wife. 
The staff of Canterbury Village is gearing up for their popular Halloween and Christmas events. And although the Sea Pub is currently closed, plans are underway to possibly open the restaurant in 2024. For more information, visit CanterburyVillage.com. You can also find them on Facebook.